Welcome to Search for Signs. My name is Gary Willing. If this information interests you, please press the like and subscribe button and press the bell for notifications. I don't know about you, but I've been following the events in Hong Kong uh, with great interest. Um, and here recently, they actually, these protesters and rioters have kind of taken the fight to the airport and shut the airport down. And, and the thing that's interesting for me personally was I was just at the Hong Kong airport last month. And there were, when I was there, there were actually demonstrations in the city. I didn't see anything, but it hadn't escalated to the point that it is today where they're, they shut down the airport and so forth. And the thing of it is, <clears throat> is that these people are fighting for their freedom. Now, I'm not, I don't condone violence at all, right? Uh, I wish it was more of a peaceful demonstration, but you know, I understand where these people's frustrations are coming from, right? And I wish, being an American, I wish people would take to the streets the way that they're doing about issues like the environment or social justice or things like this that we see that the governments are doing that we don't agree with to try to get our voices heard in that way. Because you can't just write a letter to Congress and expect them to listen to you. <laughs> you know, they just it doesn't work like that. But I think the United States in a lot of ways is still asleep. And other parts of the world are starting to really wake up to the fact that they, and sensing their own people power, you know, in a lot of ways. And the Masters and Maitreya <clears throat> are going to be the central to this movement that's going on around the world. They were central to the Arab Spring a few years back. They've been central to a lot of the uh, struggles and, and, and protests around the world in, in the United States and around the world everywhere, right? And so Maitreya shows up at a lot of these. Now, whether he's in Hong Kong um, demonstrating along with these people, I don't know, you know, but because it has kind of taken a turn for the worst, I think, in a lot of ways. But China, it's interesting. You know, the master Zhuo Kul um, introduced us to this, you know, through one of his books. But he said that really there are three great national experiments going on. Now, there's also a fourth one now going on in China. But the first one is uh, Britain. And, and the, the experiment that's going on with the nation of Britain, of the UK and stuff, is people living side by side under one nation uh, with all these different races. And you can kind of see it in London where, you know, you have the Indians, you have the Muslims, you have the, you know, the Anglo-Saxons and so forth, all kind of living together. Now, there is some mixing of it, but the, the purpose of that experiment is not so much the mixing of the races as them living together under one umbrella to see how that works. And then the other experiment is the United States, where there actually it is the mixing of the races. And according to the master Joao Kuhl, in, you know, several thousand years from now, I guess, there will be a new race of people that will come out of that mixing of the races. And you already kind of see it uh, if you live in the United States. You can kind of see the... Uh, the new race being formed between African Americans, Asians, Caucasians, you know, and so forth, Indians even. And so the, I'm not talking about Native Americans, I'm talking about Indians and from India and stuff, because there's a lot of Indians that have moved here and stuff, and, and the Spanish and so forth. They're all kind of mixing together. And so that's the plan that the masters have for the United States. And then Russia has a different experiment where several nations can live in kind of a confederate state of things, but yet under one national rule at the same time. And then China, there's a great experiment that's starting to go on in China that it's kind of like a, um, how do they put it? And, and I'm not doing the, the description of this any justice, but it's almost like a totalitarianistic type of democracy, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And so, but these people are fighting against that totalitarianism in Hong Kong. And it was like that in Tiananmen Square and so forth. And so the people are really rising up in China too, you know, as, as hardcore as the government is there, you know, you know, the people are starting to find their voice there. And it's only a matter of time before the people in the United States just stand up and kind of, whoa, you know, we can't do this anymore. And I think the time is coming because 
economically, things have been pretty okay over the last, you know, five or six, seven, eight years. I think Obama kind of did too good of a job because the Masters and Maitreya have been waiting for a stock market crash to kind of bring humanity to its senses. And I think it was starting to really happen 10 years ago. And it, it was to the point where it almost caused enough suffering in the United States. I guess it did to a certain degree because my trade came out on TV not long after that. But then because of really nefarious forces, it's been brought back up again, you know, and it's even gone farther than it was before. So the Dow, the Dow is up higher than it was even before it crashed in 2008. But the masters will tell you that the higher it goes, the only, the only, it's only going to go down that much farther, <laughs> you know? So the, the, to a large extent, I think the reason why Maitreya hasn't been out open as much as, you know, he's been out open on TV, but hasn't really been speaking declared as Maitreya at, up until now is because the economy, we kind of gone back into that slumber again. And it was, the markets have been given us problems for, for decades, right? And I put up a video about the beasts in the Bible. And one of the beasts that's in the Bible is the great prostitute who sits on the throne and all the leaders of the world are drunk on her wine, right? And according to Ben's master, the prostitute that John predicted in the Bible is the markets of the world. And it wasn't a, it wasn't a woman. It was, you know, a prostitute or a whore, I think is the way he put it. It's the, it's the markets. <clears throat> and if you look at it, our world leaders and, and a lot of ourselves and a lot of people around the world, you know, are all guilty of, of drinking from its wine and getting drunk, you know, to a lot of, to a large degree. And so, but, so the prophecy is being fulfilled in a lot of ways, but the, the markets are going to crash again. It, and so we're overdue, you know, even, even some of the most, uh, staunch capitalists are telling, will will tell you that, yeah, I mean, typically every six years you have a recession. Well, it's been 10 years since our last recession in the United States, right? So we're overdue, but according to the masters, it's not going to be a recession. It's going to be a crash. And it's been kind of teetering on it for the last 20 years since Maitreya made that prediction, actually 30 years now, since he made the prediction of that economic crash. But it's only a matter of time before it finally goes whoop, you know? So <clears throat> the way it, the way I kind of see it is what's keeping it up and it's kept it up kind of in a, in a, uh, very false kind of way, right. To have the appearance of a healthy stock market is, you know, the whole buy low, sell high. So now we have these computers and these traders and stuff that once it starts going down, well, they start buying and it gets it to go back up again. We're back 30 some odd years ago. We didn't have that same kind of algorithmic type of computer programs. And <clears throat> there have been times where those computer programs have failed and it's caused the Dow to, whew, bam, right? You know, and then it'll go back up again or whatever like that. So, but the masters will tell you that it's only a matter of time because those markets were built on the energies of Pisces, of greed and competition. And we're moving more into the influence of Aquarius, which is cooperation and brotherhood and justice. So the markets have a place, but not to the extent that they are today. And so Maitreya says, any nation that follows blind market forces is following, is leading its people off a cliff. And so we can't follow the markets anymore. But, and as always, take action. Help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos. Have a great day.